We are back. Flint's News Talk, 1470 WFNT. I did mean to have these windows clean, too. I, we, uh... I didn't. We didn't pay our Windex bill, so I didn't have enough to get them cleaned up. We're actually, shooting. Actually, I'm the Windex guy. <laughs> I'm on strike. Did they get I'm, a shot of uh, Brobux coffee too? Brobux coffee, Sherman Mays. I don't know, but I, right I, I, would, I would suggest that uh, <laughs> that makes it in. Listen, makes the, makes the cut. The the um, so the issue I think, you know, is about trust. And once you've got a once you've got a a, a federal emergency, once you've got something like this rolling downhill. There's no the whoa we're on yeah oh we're on this is uh this is we're back Dan Foley Sherman Mays we've got Scott Smith with us and uh, we appreciate it we're spending the hour talking with him um, once you've lost trust once you've got this enormous thing six hundred million dollars rolled into Flint as a result of this disaster that that was completely avoidable and I and I think what happened is they just figured you know what the water's being switched. And and Flint was put on the on the spot by Detroit Water because our contract was up, thirty year contract, and they tried to play hardball and say that you wouldn't get an extension, um, and so they wanted a long term contract with Flint. Flint said no. We got the Flint River. We'll use that. And uh, um, I think people thought this isn't going to be a big deal for you know a year, year and a half, whatever it is to transition over. They were wrong. They fudge things. They lied about what they were doing. Trust is important. Once you've got this huge disaster, right, you've got a lot of people who are here on the scene, uh, Virginia Tech, the citizens, the people who did a tremendous job exposing this problem. You come in. You're working with folks. You're on the ground here. But it gets so big. You get so many people who are showing up, you know, and they want to, this train's moving downhill. They want to get in the engine. They want to start blowing the whistle. We're here, too. We care about Flint. And you see this with various groups that you're intimately familiar with. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. Now, um, I want to I want to give a, a quick overview on this. There there are for-profit corporations that are privately held that are responsible to their shareholders. They pay taxes. There are public for-profit corporations that are responsible for their shareholders and put out public reports. This notion of nonprofit, every one of you in the media is doing a disservice to the public. Nonprofits are tax exempt corporations and they have to file what's called a form 990 C because who are their shareholders? They're the public and we as the public are letting them off the hook to not pay taxes. Right. And I'm all for tax exempt corporations, but the, you and the media and especially Sarah Gannam from CNN, given, given a pass to somebody that that happens to be a commentator at CNN and not grilling them with the same questions I got. You know, maybe, you know, and, and, and I'm not here, maybe in fairness to Sarah Ganim, she wasn't allowed to expand, uh, to inquire about other things. But but I, I want to give you an example. Um, um, water defense, and this is all from publicly available. So Sarah, Sarah Ganim is a... Is a is, is, she's a Pulitzer Prize winning reporter. And she's somebody that was that had interviewed you, what, yeah. was asked you questions she's and so forth. asking me questions, and it was allegations in the form of questions. And I provided you with the emails for background. Mm -hmm. So, and, and the reason why Sarah Ganim is important to this story is that I learned something in Mark Edwards' paper that I didn't know. And this ties in, and I'm gonna tell you a story at the dinner table the other night. I was listening to, to the Jesse Smollett thing, and I heard on the news, eating, and I I'm literally spit out my food. Just, Jesse Smollett has hired a crisis PR firm. I looked at the people I was having dinner with, and I said, oh my God, I'm gonna Google Sunshine Sacks and Jesse Smollett. <laughs> Sure enough, it's Sunshine Sacks. So when Sarah Ganim started these inquiries with CNN, and the reason I can talk about this publicly now is it's coming out uh, in, Mar in Dr. Edwards' paper that I have no control of. And for the first time, I was when, when this happened with CNN, I was told that Sunshine Sacks and lawyers were representing me. Well, I ended up parting ways with Water Defense as a result over... Uh, the PR strategy. And I was told I wanted to engage with Mark Edwards when Sarah Ganim and all that was going out. And I was told to stand down. Nothing good is going to happen now. And I'm going to, so I'm going to tell you when you see sunshine Sachs was also retained by Harvey Weinstein. Now they're very good, but, but this is important. Dan. No, but we want to, but I just want to bring people up to speed. Sunshine Sachs is, is a, a PR crisis firm used by celebrities. And they were also used by water defense, water defense. That's and that, the and the reason I'm talking about this publicly is because it's coming out in Mark Edwards paper that I have no control over with, with Sarah Ganim. So that, that, so they retain them 
And, and the reason why those Nigerian brothers, thank God they're telling, whatever happened, I don't know. Thank God they're telling the truth because these celebrity PR firms, they're brilliant and great at what they do. It, they protect the celebrity at all costs and no other human, whatever gets in the way doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Your collateral damage. And I mean that with all due respect because again, the Mark Edwards paper is coming out and that I didn't know, yeah. I didn't know something was put in writing to Sarah Ganim. Now, at the same time, not from Sarah Dr. Ganim, Edwards, uh, not from Dr. No, no, but Dr. Edwards paper cites Sarah Ganim's email exchanges okay. with these people. Yeah. And that's, it's going in the public that, so that's how well, she reached out to water defense too. I know. And, the, and there yeah, was some yeah. answers. So yeah. now here, here's the, you want to show this video. So meanwhile, in the same time frame, and, and, and again, as Van Jones and green for all, um, they do a lot of great things. And all I want, all in same time frame, Sarah Ganim and CNN start hammering me in water defense with questions. You've seen the questions. They're, mm -hmm. they're like allegations. And I have no problem with Sarah Ganim. But I'm here to say. Well, they're asking, good, she's asking about the testing and she's asking yes, about the yeah, filter. And, 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 but what is good for the goose is good for the gander. You agree with that, Sherman? Absolutely. So if you got a Pulitzer Prize winning reporter. Uh, so here's the, the, so the same here's time the, period. So here's the allegation. So you've got Van Jones and, and, and we're talking about um the the effect that making accusations has on trust right correct when you've got people who are not scientists van jones isn't a scientist he, he came to flint on the bus tour did he it was at the time of the democratic uh presidential uh forum that was here is that when he came yes he came then and he came there again for the meeting at with Monahan Atisha at her no, that was it. The Same CNN time. debate was March six, I believe. Okay, and March seventh, he was coming in as CNN. Okay, and then CNN and and and, and Green for All organized it, you know, because Mark Ruffalo attracts a lot of yep. attention in water defense. Exactly, and, 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 and Tom and Steyer, stuff. the billionaire, yeah. uh, green yes. environmentalist. So they're so they're here and they're and they're warning the folks who are on the ground and they're telling people you can't trust the blue ribbon panel. You can't, don't listen to these guys. And then you've got a year later, this is this is over a year later. This is April 20th, 2017. This is a, a pitch for Green for All. This is from Van Jones saying, um, the situation isn't any better. We stand with Flint. Here he is. This is what uh, he's saying, April 20th, 2017 on his uh, Facebook page, an appeal for Green for All. And um, I'm coming to you uh, live with some serious know what's life. happening it must be getting handled i'm not worried about flint look we got we're one day away from earth day and it's worse uh in flint than uh, people know i am it's worse in flint than people know All right he's saying so, this in, and it, stop it, right there stop right there yeah uh, um it's worse than flint that people know now here's the context and why sarah ganim is in cnn so at the meanwhile at the same Time frame, Dan. The same time frame. Pulitzer Prize winning reporter from CNN is hammering them. We, and you've got the emails. Um, you know, we've we've reviewed this with scientific experts and and making these allegations. I like a Facebook post, and therefore I'm endorsing some filtration system. When I, you know, so meanwhile, on the other side of CNN, CNN commentator is in 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 Van, and again, I'm asking questions. Uh, Van Jones makes 210000 a year. Mark, and Mark Ruffalo takes nothing from water defense. And this is from publicly available information. So as I'm getting hammered from CNN, is there, is a CNN have a different set of rules if you're a commentator and you have a tax-exempt corporation that you get paid out yeah. of? I wouldn't call it a different set of rules. I'd call it a different agenda as opposed to set of rules. CNN obviously has... He's here agenda. on his own doing his... Yeah, he's green of course, for all. But yeah. I'm... I would venture to say that CNN is not aware of his activities and what the agenda of Green for well, maybe All is. We reached out to uh, we reached out to um, Sarah Ganim, invited her, her to be on. We reached out to um, uh, we reached out to uh, Congressman no. Kildee's office, and uh, they were not um, uh, they never got back with us. So we, we were just trying to find out. We reached out to Senator Ananek just to see they were at the at the meeting at Hurley to see if they'd seen any. You know what? If they followed up with Green for All to find out what they'd done, let's listen to the rest of this pitch. Because, because what he's going to say is, we're we're tired of waiting. We're going to fix the pipes ourselves. They're going to ask for the contributions uh, to help. For every ten thousand dollars, they say that they're going to fix pipes for people's homes. This is Van Jones, April twentieth, twenty seventeen. I'm very very proud to be teaming up uh, with uh, my friends at Green for All, uh, GreenforAll.org, Vian Trong. 
who's such an amazing leader on climate solutions. Serious is being done about it at all. How does he know that? Based on what point, is he saying? I, I would ask Mark Edwards at this point. He's making this video. Three, how much has flowed in, flowed in the Flint? Two, three hundred million. And so come up with hashtag fix the pipes. Don't. And I want to be very clear. I work. I'm all for tax exempt corporations, for profit corporations, uh, public and private. And I want to learn. I, I, and again, I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I'm passionate because of what it, because of what CNN, you know, both sides. What you know, what's the story? But the 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 point is, I'd love to learn that Green for All donated a million dollars or half a million. Well, we what we reached out and uh, I've got their 2016. I'll be the first one to say, great work. They I've did got, a great job. I've got their 2016 uh, annual report, and it shows that they raised and spent fifteen thousand dollars. In Flint. Now that's 2016. They brought six million dollars of revenue in, and, and to put that in perspective, from the public in 2016 report, on, on water defense. Yeah, the, I've got it right here, to, and this is all publicly available. And from water defense, is that Dream Corps or is that Green for All? Uh, that's that's Dream Corps. And here's the thing about nonprofits: um, I can't find any evidence that Green for All files a Form 990. And I do know from the from the tax exempt world, you can have a sponsor organization uh, and only and file under one Form 990. But what, you know, and we're just asking the questions. And again, I'm asking the same questions as we try to uncover this, where Sarah Gannam, the Pulitzer Prize winning reporter, I'm Sh Sherman, the fair question? <laughs> the fair question, yeah, it, it has to be. And again, I fear mongering to this day, financial gain. to this day, the same type thing is going on. Yeah, it's not him. I mean, we've got people in, in town doing this stuff and saying these things. Um, and, and, you know, the, the, at what point do you say, well, we have to, you know, what's the standard? You know, if you've, and this is what's so interesting about uh, Edward's paper too, with citizen science. I mean, this is the thing that the fo is the focus of this paper that's coming out this week. You know, it's, you know, you have citizen scientists and the emphasis is on citizen, but you also have to have scientists who are citizens, right? Who are committed to the public good, to using science in the right way. And he points out that these folks at MDQ, they're the scientists. They're the people who know these standards. They didn't do their job. And all of this devolves. You've got all these people from all these different groups. You've got citizens. They don't know where to turn. They don't, they aren't involved in this. You know, some people, you can question their motives. You can wonder, you know, what they're trying to do. There's a lot of money coming in. It's a national emergency. You've got a lot of attention. You've got Cher. You've got Van Jones. You've got Mark Ruffalo. You've got people who want to come in and be a part of this. And they, they want to do good things. They, they best intentions. You can say, but it's, but it's, you know. Oh, you forgot two very important uh, water specialists. <laughs> Snoop Dogg and Alyssa Milano. <laughs> yeah. No, they're ever. They're all I kinds want to make of them. a very important point, though. Sure. Um, and it, it for-profit corporations, public for-profit corporations, private and tax-exempt yeah. corporations that are make uh, they all do great things. Right. And yeah. this notion that somehow right. you give a pass. Right. And I want to say Food and Water Watch. Yeah. I have done work with them. I would volunteer with them. Food and Water Watch. You may not agree with them, Dan. Right. But no, I'm going to tell you, I don't even know. they are on the ground. I was crawling right. around with plumbers. Yeah. They don't. Food and Water Watch yep. does great work, great organization, and they're but, transparent. But see, uh, You've got to have a yeah, standard for yeah, deciding we, who, which ones I, I are agree. the good ones and they're, which ones aren't. But you, it's like public companies. you gotta, you got to view. You, yeah, you know. right. No, the, I, I agree with you. There's people from all persuasions, all different kind of yeah. corporate structures that do good things, some yeah. do bad. But again, when you have people who obviously have done nothing, and I've been here <laughs> watching these people running around the city with them, <laughs> They've done nothing but come yeah. in here, and make speeches. The taxpayers oh, have a right. Some, the, grab some money, the and then have a right they're to gone. Know yeah. What's yeah. going on sure. with tax exempt corporations? We got to take right. a break. We'll be right back. Flint's News Talk, fourteen seventy WFNT. Here with Scott Smith, formerly Water Defense, talking about uh, trust and talking about uh, what is it again? It's not for profit. It's tax, tax exempt corporations. Tax exempt corporations. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm going to get that. your brain. <laughs> we'll be right back.